All right, y'all already know. Just got through watching Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul. Salute to Netflix. Um, was able to watch the fight. I know they have several other fights, but I didn't watch any of the undercard. But um, Jake Paul, should I say intro? I know he came out in the car. Mike Tyson came out in his traditional black shorts and leave you on black socks, so on and so forth. Um, Mike Tyson came out quick, fast. I thought Mike Tyson was going, he was going to stop Jake Paul, but really after about round one, his age kicked in. Jake Paul, Jake Paul pretty much just beat him off the jab. He jabbed him the rest of the rounds. Uh, he did hit Mike a couple of times, but he never really tried to go in. Now it was scheduled for, uh, it was eight rounds, two minutes per round, which, um, is normally, the rounds are longer than that, but I guess Mike had requested it to have more action. And um, I don't know. I mean, I didn't really see. I see Jake Paul more respect Mike. Mike did catch Jake Paul a couple of times, and maybe that's why he didn't necessarily want to go in. But I'm assuming him and his training staff just said, "Look, just like how Anthony, how Anthony Joshua beat uh, uh, Andy Ruiz the same way, you know, just beat him off the jab." And um, you know, Jake Paul clearly he's 27, so he's what he, he's twice as young as mike um you know he's bigger he's quicker and he just kind of just ran circles around him but he didn't really want to engage with mike completely because mike was catching him and you could tell that he was respecting his power um of course uh it, it kind of goes like this kind of remind me a lot of manny pacquiao floyd mayweather honestly too like where floyd they didn't really engage like they thought they would a lot of people showed up to this fight Shaq, mike epps uh so on and so forth the who's who especially of the 90s was at that fight and i heard a lot of people in the crowd booing but i believe people probably was thinking it's gonna be a knockout either mike was gonna knock jake out or jake was gonna knock mike out but i did i in no no scenario could i have seen jake knocking out mike um i i feel like he disrespected mike's power and iq too much and it just took one time for him to get caught but jake won off unanimous decision and i mean i guess he can say he beat mike but in all actuality mike won this fight because now the world's going to know that jake could knock out a 58 year old old slow mike tyson in the ring you know and again you know salute to mike man he's probably the oldest fighter to put on a pair of gloves i guess in a sanctioned fight i don't know how they let that let it happen but it did and from what i'm hearing they both came out with a payday he made at least 20 million mike tyson jake paul made a rumor to be 40 million so they good with that and i'm sure a lot of people's watching this so i'm sure they'll get money on the back end uh so like i said in the beginning of the video salute to netflix you know at least at least we didn't really have to pay for it it just came on and you can tell they're trying to get a live event so hopefully they're able to bring help bring boxing back because it has been horrible and trash y'all charge us 89 dollars to watch keith thurman fight tim Tazoo, even though the fight didn't happen y'all was going to try to actually make us pay that and try to make us believe that that fight is worth that much money and again i, I understand jake Paul's fighting the old Mike Tyson, but it's just refreshing to see that you don't have to click on pay-per-view or crack the fire stick to see a decent fight, or, or should I say, an entertaining fight. But um, I don't, I don't know if people, sh I don't know, people shouldn't really be that disappointed. I mean, like I said, Mike Tyson's 58 years old, and it's a moral victory for him, uh, regardless. But um, I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. I do. I think Mike's going to keep fighting. No, it was just a payday. Listen, they offer you 20 million dollars. It's kind of hard to turn that down. And uh, what do I think that this that this helps Jake Paul? No, it did help bring an audience to Mike Tyson, especially the younger audience who never saw him. But, you know, the people who uh, didn't grow up in the millennial generation, like we got to see him, especially fight in the late 80s and 90s and win and go to jail, come back and all of that. But, you know, people like my son, them who are in the Gen Z, they never got to see him. So it was good. It was good to see that. But, you know, he's 58 years old. I mean, nobody expected him to go round for round uh how should i say this completely just just like mike tyson at 20 years old now and i did see that jake said he felt like he would have beat mike at 20 uh at any time no if you put a 27 year old mike out of jail uh and you put a jake paul well it was mike out of jail no, i think mike out of jail about 28 so whatever you're around that age 28 29 you put mike tyson you put jake paul mike tyson would have literally destroyed jake paul in probably like the first 25 seconds out of bet my entire life savings on that. But you know, whatever, man. They both got a payday. So I just want to get my quick thoughts about it and tell me what y'all think.